So today I'm going to be replacing the wine rack from this piece of wood that I found in my backyard. Uh, it's from an old bridge that we had going across our stream. This is 25 inches. The bottom piece is 12, top piece is 12, the middle piece is 12. Uh, then you have three pieces that uh, are cut at the ends at a 45 degree angle. The middle piece has two 45 degree angle cuts here and here. So now what I'm going to do is just check uh, which side of the wood that I like best, what I like this little knot that is 45 degree cuts. We'll make sure the bottles aren't touching each other. Mark out where I want things to go because I like that knot. Like this, so uh, the wine um, be going in at 45 degree angles, so it, it sits nicely like this. The well, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside, get the sander, and just start sanding it off, cleaning it up a little bit. I'm leaving a live edge on here. Um, I like the look and the aesthetic of like a nice polished, clean cut, contrast with like the old wood rugged live edge. <laughs> At the back of the wine rack, uh, we're gonna drill a hole down and have these sunk into the wood like this uh, with a hole in there, and that's how it's gonna be hanging from the back. One and a half inch uh, drill, so that one and a half is the same size as the outer ring. I've already pre marked these, so I'm not going very deep, barely going in there uh, because the wash is pretty flat. And just kind of chisel this out. Get that out of there like this. Make sure the be sunk. Give it a place for the nail when I hang it on the wall to sit. Now when that sits in there, it's gonna just sit just like that. I'll hit it up with a little bit of a wood, wood, wood glue here. Hit it with the wood glue. Turned out. If you want to try this? Check it out. <laughs> 